some real heavy hitters uh, in the show today, including in the kitchen, the great Mario Batali. I bet Mario would agree with me that my next guest might even be able to teach him a thing or two. She, uh, I think she's about 78 now. She's from a small town in the Abruzzo region of Italy, and she's just published her very first cookbook. Check this out. Elisa and her husband Francesco were married for 56 wonderful years when he passed away in 2013. Elisa was left feeling a little lost. She had taken her place on the sofa, kind of like God take me mentality. And oh yeah, it was a very to die. Getting back in the kitchen renewed Elisa's love for life. Even though she's been in America for over 50 years, Elisa cooks old school Italian. I was in a drawer and I found some of her old scribbles of recipes. I said, we need to put it like in a book. She took her scribbles and her stories and pictures and self-published her very first book. They call it The Italian Mom's Cookbook and it helped Elisa find the spark she's been missing. I can tell you what it means to me, my sister and our family. It's brought her back to life. Since its release, The Italian Mom's Cookbook has sold over 7,000 copies. It's now in its third printing. Thanks, everybody. She's so hot. Look at Elisa working that dress. <laughs> oh, and you brought some beautiful dolce. They're beautiful, beautiful. Uh, we have to show everybody. Listen, 7,000 copies already. <laughs> I want mine signed before you leave. How much has this changed your emotional life? A lot. It's, it's brought you back, yes? Yes, it did. <laughs> I, never, I never thought I would, but it did. It did. And now you're touching all of those thousands of people's families and all of their lives every time they cook your food. It's so beautiful. <laughs> your son Frank is here too. He's in the front row. Move, I can't see him. I know you want cameras, but move, I can't see Hi. Hello. Hi, Frank. How are you? How proud are you, huh? What a fun story. It's just amazing. I mean, it, it started out just as a way of getting her off the sofa. You know, she'd go to work, and that was it. And but whatever she's eating, we all need more of it, because she's looking <laughs> like 6 o'clock in that dress. Yeah. <laughs> book, go to our website. We're going to link you up. We want to get her over the next hurdle. She's got to pass seven. Now we got to get her past 10, maybe even 20,000. <laughs> now, I was married in Montalcino, Italy. Brunello is my favorite wine, of course, Certo, because it's the most delicious. So this is for the next meal you cook with, Frank. And I want you to take a night off. So we're going to send you $500 to go to Vetri, a nice Italian restaurant in Philly, okay? Take a night off. 